One eternity later. Buenas tardes y buenas noches a todos. Es Man with a Plan aquí. Finalmente, de nuevo. Surviving on Ark Survival Evolved. Absolutely ecstatic to be finally returning this game. It has been a massively long time. We did start a season once before, but I wasn't really pleased with it. Wasn't really enjoying how it was coming out. Had a few little hiccups and bugs. It was the very first season that I'd ever tried making on the channel, so I'm not surprised that it didn't really come out the way I wanted it to. So, we are back. We are back. I'm going to make a brand new Let's Play on Ark Survival Evolved. Single player, as it stands at the moment. But my plan is that around about August time, I may be able to turn it multiplayer. So if any of you guys are interested in joining me on this game, leave a comment down below. I'd be super, super pumped. And feel free to add the gamer tag, man with a plan, on the Xbox One. And around about August time, I believe, guys, uh, I will be able to dedicate a time and a day, or a few times and a few days, to be playing this game religiously. So, super, super chuffed, just having a little check over what my settings are. They're all going to be left the same as last time, I believe. That all we have, yeah, all we have really here is the taming speed. I think that the egg lay, yep, and the growth crop thing, that one too, was all turned up. I don't think anything else was actually took baby cuddles. Baby cuddle lose imprints quality speed multiplier. <laughs> Fantastic. Now I believe a buttload has changed since I last played this absolute butt ton. There's been so many updates coming out for this game. They are absolutely nailing it. And I haven't been playing enough to be able to keep up with any of it, so I have absolutely no idea what's going on. It's going to be almost like learning a whole new game again. I'm going to stay on the island, because I really, really like the island, and I want to explore more of that. Yeah, non-dedicated, I think that's what it'll be. But, let's jump on in and see what we can do here. Massively, massively chuffed to be making a return. If you guys like Survival Evolve, please hit that like button. And if you really are looking forward to more of the episodes, hit that subscribe. I'm going to try and do my absolute best to make this a little bit more, a little bit more taskful. I have an aim in mind. I have a goal. I have a plan. The man does indeed finally have a plan for Ark Survival Evolved. I have heard a lot of people say that it cannot be completed single player. I want to test this out. I want to see if there is something that you could do about it. And there he is! The same generic dude that was always there last time. Yeah, he's, he's, he's decent now, you can look, it's rendered in his underpants, it's fine. So, let's see here, I'm gonna make a hair color blonde, because that's mech hair color too. It's kind of dyed at the moment, so we'll brighten it right up. Uh, can you give him blue eyes like me? I don't suppose, why not? We're gonna buff him up a bit in the chest, we're gonna broaden him out. We're not gonna make his neck any longer. A little bit of torso width, a little bit of hippage, a little bit of height, and a, little, a lot more depth for a belly. That'll do just fine. Absolutely fine, not so worried about it. Change his name. Change his name to Man with a Plan, because that's me. Man with a Plan is me. Me is Man with a Plan. Man. Rita. Plan. And yes, the plan is to test out is is mammon plan, but it's to test out whether you can actually kill a boss or anything like that on single player. Because I know this game is a huge, huge multiplayer, and I haven't had much time to get online and join people. I don't know. Remember where these spawn points are? I really don't. I think I would like to build nearby the old place that we were, but just not in the crater, because it was a huge, huge way to go and get any kind of resources. So I'm not entirely sure where to go for. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just go zone two. We will probably die straight away, most likely. I'm expecting it to be a thing. Yeah, because the ice zone was expanded there. It was expand rude. Along in the middle there. Hmm. Well, let's just go here. Let's see what happens. Let's take it as it comes. Come on now. Come on. Epically super bright. Ah, oh, the bloom. The bloom is real. So as per usual, that will be the first thing that we are going to adjust is the bloom quality settings. I'm super hot. Super hot. So let's go on to here. 
r dot bloom quality zero there we are we'll go ahead and add that and it'll be just a little bit more bearable for our eyes there I've got the motion blur on I don't know if I will be able to be much better without that oh wait there we are no no that's definitely off there we are, that's as good as it gets then. So, Ark Survival Evolved, what a fantastic game. We're going to run through a little bit with you guys as per the usual beginning seasons. Uh, we'll try not to make any cuts in this episode and just try to actually run through a little bit of gameplay. I imagine most of you know what Sir Ark Survival Evolved is, or you have played it or already do own it. But if you are interested in it, I would highly, highly recommend this game. It is incredibly good. My TV just blacked out there. I'm hoping that's not the capture card's death. I will check that out right now. Well, that scared the freaking bejesus out of me. TV just flashed black. Thought the capture card had finally given up. I've been having some severe problems at the moment, but everything seems fine. Everything is seeming just fine. So we will see if it actually does make its thing. We'll level up with the intensity. Absolute intensity. Already hit our first level for just gathering. This is going to be a huge, huge thing if you guys are going to be starting a new game yourselves as well or you don't know what it's all about. It's why to press this button to gather up the bushes and the berries. I myself would recommend learning to bend your index finger over the controller so that you can press the Y button and actually look around at the same time. Especially if you're planning to play PvP because you'll do this and somebody will come up and stab you in the back of the head and take all your stuff and probably kill you. Most likely kill you. But yeah, let's see what this level is going to be all about then. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, good looking. What is all of this? Oh, they've completely revamped the crafting and the inventory and all the stuff. Huh, okay. This is all looking pretty cool. So we now have our details in the center of the screen and our character display on the right hand side. That's looking a lot sharper as well. I'm liking that. Now, our engrams are all underneath, and all of our equipment such as in the center there too. And our actual tab inventory is over here. I'm liking the bars showing the capacity. I'm guessing that might be the capacity. If I eat a couple of those, does it go down? No, that must be the spoil timer then. Aha, fantastic. Okay, excellent. Uh, right bumper should move us to the crafting inventory where we've got all our things set here. Excellent. All in nice neat folders, just the way I like it. Awesome. And let's see, if we scroll down here, yeah, that's where we get our upgrade points. So it's going to be weight. It's going to be weight. Funky new sound. I like it. Super awesome. Let's get some clothing. Ah, is there... Oh. Okay, the start buttons do different things now as well. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, super cool. Well, we, it looks like we actually have to select and go down and learn engram now. Probably a good thing. Blink, because you know, I remember the amount of times I hit a button by mistake, and once you learned it, you can't unlearn it, and it's all over. That's super cool. I'm liking that. Super, super interesting. So the next thing we're gonna need is a bit of stone. I'm, just, I'm reaching at the stone. I have a hugely wide range of harvest when I am looking for stones and plants. There we are. Gather up a bit load of these. Now, remembering that I am on the north side of the island, I have to be um, rather careful. Rather careful around here. That's a volcano. Ah, in fact, I have a feeling... Yeah, select button still brings up our map. That we are actually right next to the crater where we played on in the last season. Yeah, which is gone because I'm an idiot and I deleted it. I really shouldn't have done that. Nevertheless, wrong button. I'll be doing that a lot. It's been a while since we played. So if we go over into crafting, weapons, primitive, melee. Oh, I need some wood and some thatch for that guy. Alright, let's go punch some tree. <laughs> Lovely, that should be plentiful. I was about to press the pause button again then, but luckily I caught myself out. Cool, so a double tap will make us up one of those. Amazing stuff. And that will drop into our inventory just here, and a double tap will fly. Excellent. Now we've got ourselves another level. More weight, please. Thank you very much. And I will have, if you ever would be so kind, 10 points. I will have a campfire. I will have a hatchet. And I shall have a spear. 
Marvellous. Definitely going to be wanting to make a load of those. Behold our first tool of the season. Ha 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 ha. Death to trees. Death to trees. Now, if I recall correctly, this direction as to which we are pointing is super, super, super dangerous. Like, incredibly dangerous. I believe that's where I got my butt chewed on by Allosaurs time and time and time again. Alright, there's plenty of that stuff, so back to our menu. We can now make one of them. Uh, I won't make a torch because I am hoping to dear lord that I will not be here at that time of night. If we go back to our inventory, drop him on there. Excellent. Some wood for some spears, if you ever so please. And I believe that this direction is the way that I'm wanting to go. Really shouldn't be running around here. My um, other advice for new starters in this game is, firstly, don't run around like a lunatic. That's a super bad idea. Because I'm an idiot. I'm just doing it. But mostly, keep an eye out. Keep an eye out around you. Keep an ear out. And be very, very cautious about getting too close to the jungles. Because a butt ton of stuff will come out and eat you. An absolute butt ton of stuff will come out and eat you. Gone and got myself encumbered. Super bad idea. Is there a craft all button now? Crafting queue. Is it up here? Toggle tooltips. If I hold it, does that do it? Nope. No idea then. I think we just double tap it to make it work then. Ah, uh, completely and utterly overloaded. Probably a super bad idea. So, I would, if be so kind for my screen there. I also would like my hatchet. Pick there even, and my hatchet. Just there. And now I want more weight. Ooh, I'll take a look at that in a moment. I should take a look at that in just a moment. And now we have our very first spear. Fantastic. Excellente. Now we can spear some things. Although I doubt I'm going to find anything that is actually spearable for me over here. I am super, super heavy. Super, super, super heavy. I'm going to assume that's from the amount of spears I am holding. I don't need stones. Bye bye. That might make it a bit better. It has indeed. Excellent. So we're going to find a little spot. A little way along. I have a feeling that just round this cliff face that's in front of me, just round the corner from round there, is actually the spot that I consider. There was a lake around there, and uh, just maybe we can find a spot to hang out there. Dodos! The most renewable resource in Ark. Boom! Oh, level 100 dodo in a single hit. You're yeah, like a boss. Give me some meat and some hide, please. Oh, with those uh, harvest settings turned up, it's a, a very fun experience, I must admit. Ready? Oh, I got you in the foot. Oh. No, don't go out to sea, please. That's a super bad idea. All about the hide. So, yeah, generally with a hatchet, you'll collect more of the secondary item. With a pick, you'll collect more of the primary. Um, say, for example, on a corpse, the primary being meat, this guy will dig up a lot more meat from the corpse. And hide being secondary, this guy will be more. Another level. The levels are coming thick and fast. And I haven't put any kind of um, bonus or over overpayment, should we say, onto our experience growth rate at all. But let's look along here and get the things that we will need for our very first home because that is going to be the next thing we're going to be looking at doing. Five points left. Mm, yeah, we should get a door, I guess. Look at that. We've gone and got all the things that we need to actually get a little door and house on the go. There's a wee dillo over there. Again, I'm not going to tangle with absolutely anything just to be incredibly safe. I only have some spears. So, I will defend myself if I need to, but I am not going to go looking for a fight, that's for sure. In fact, with it being the very first... Oh, oh good lord, you scared the crap out of me, Mr. Pteranodon. Pteranodon, level 24. And really, I shouldn't be uh, too picky about where I'm building my spot. I'm going to get away... Oh, no, not another Bronto. It's super bad building around a Bronto. They just constantly walk on your house and get in the way. It's the most annoying thing ever. But, it seems fairly safe here. There is a butt-ton of trees and- Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you, a blessing from the gods of Ark. Hydration. Free water. Yay. 
yeah, I think that actually around here is going to do us absolutely fine. So let's see here. Can we still equip a blueprint to our hotbar? So that we can actually see how much we need of something. Can we do that? Oh, I'm going to put it on Y. Why wouldn't I? Why? Why wouldn't I? <laughs> yeah, excellent. So you can see it's white now. And I can hold the right bumper and tap Y to actually build the things. And it'll go dark when I can't actually build them. Before, yeah, there we go. If we hold it up, it'll tell us how much we have and what we actually need to make it. The more time we can avoid being in our inventory, the better we are going to be able to see anything that's coming at us. And it should, at one point, save our butt. Again, excellent tip for PvP. Definitely do not spend too much time in your inventory. That is a good way to get killed. So if I come along here, I'm thinking maybe between these two rocks. Doesn't have to be anything too extravagant. All we have to do is have a little place to call our own, really. So let's see here. I've got five... Uh, that'll be six of them. Probably a little bigger than what we need. I'm going to say that probably is a little bit bigger than what we need. Yeah, so long as that dillo leaves us alone, I'd be actually quite confident here. So let's get ourselves a little bit more wood. Choppy, choppy, chop, chop. And we're completely incumbent, of course we are. <laughs> oh, my kingdom for carry weight. Please, please, my entire kingdom for carry weight. Let's just make up all of these that we can. That's probably still going to be way too heavy for us. Let's see what else we've got that we uh, may be able to drop for the time being. Most likely that would be a good idea. There we go. Now we can move again. Fantastic. I want this tree gone because you are right in the way. Oh, the lag. Oh, the lag was real then. Death to all trees. And now we should be able to use this button uh -huh -huh -huh, to bring up. No, wrong. All I wanted to do is put my tool away. There we are. Yeah, to bring up our little uh, our little home spot here. Now, actually, this ground is way, way steep, and if I build there, I'm going to have to use ceilings to build out on it, so that's not going to work. It's not going to work at all. Maybe in the trees a bit. Uh, again, not wanting to... What is that? That is a little packy rhinoceros. Thankfully, not aggressive, but will knock me out cold if I actually start a fight with the guy. Pump a little bit more weight, we can move again. Freedom! Yeah, nope, I'm going straight back to the beach. Let's build ourselves a little beach house right here. This is nice and flat here. Loads of room. Nice view of Kano Island. The most dangerous place on this freaking island. <laughs> yeah, why not? Let's just uh, hang out right in the most dangerous spot ever. Now again, in single player, you're not really going to have to worry about where you build at all. Uh, multiplayer, however, I would say do single player only backwards. Here, we want to get ourselves a home, doesn't matter where it is, doesn't matter pretty much anything at all. On the beach is a good spot, away from loads of aggressive predators would be a good idea. In PvP, quite the opposite, get off the beach as soon as you can. Um, the risk of being in the jungle is a super bad one, however, if you're anywhere near on the beach and you get spotted quite easy, you're just going to get chewed up. Because people will know you're a noob, and you're very new to the game, and you're just getting in a bit. So, trust me, I am speaking very much from my own experience. People were very unforgiving to me when I started playing Ark Online. <laughs> very much. Let's try here and see what this does. Okay, left trigger cancels, right trigger builds. Let's see how we'll, how well, how we'll, how well these will snap onto here for me. I think that tree's going to be in the way. Yep, sure is. And same with that one, I'm going to imagine. How about this away? Yeah, that'll be quite nice. Yeah, not so bad there at all. That'll do us. Looks like I've gone and built myself another one anyway, but hey. Why wouldn't I? Put that one on there. Let's see here. I can go one more back. That sounds like a cool idea. Let's do that. See if I can actually harvest these uh, plants out of here. Please, I don't want plants sticking through my floor. That, that would just be silly. I'm not living in a bush. I bet I'm going to have the same problem here, aren't I? Oh. Yay, I got him. Ah, oh, 
Frickin' trees in my floor, man. Frickin' trees in my floor. I know it's ridiculous, but I'm being a perfectionist. Even on our very first starter house, it's completely unnecessary, but... I insist. I insist. If you're gonna do something, do it right. Do it the right way. Do it well. Make yourself proud. There we are. One like so. I think I will need some more satch to build the other one, so let's take down this tree. There we are. Again, you can access your inventories, build your stuff and so, while you're in the middle of harvesting. It's not a huge deal. That uh, will be fine. Um, yeah, actually, I'll... Oh man, I thought he was bright red for a moment. I don't know why, but I did. So let's put this guy away and tidy up these bits. Just to make some room for my entryway, which is what I've decided this is going to be. Literally right now. Very nice. Very nice indeed. We have ourselves a little home. Amazing! Well, not really a little home, actually. Quite a decent size home. But I think we will be living in here for a fair while, while I look for a good spot for us to build. We'll have a good few adventures. Hopefully our home won't get absolutely destroyed by all the aggressive dinos that are here. But I expect that will definitely be a thing. There we are. Ah, oh, one more short, look. One more short. What would we need to get ourselves a doorway, by chance? More such? Or some wood this time? Excellent. That's convenient. I need these trees gone. Amazing. So let's see here. If I go down onto the hot bar now and double tap the one that's on there. Yeah, that clears it. Excellent. Now let's go over to door frame. One of those, please. And the other one I'm really going to be needing is walls. All the walls. I'm going to chuck that there. So that I can build up as many walls as I can get my hands on. I uh, believe, actually, this guy's ready. Yeah, he is. Let's just chuck him there. Ooh. There we go. Excellent. I'm not sure if I like the new sounds or the new... or the new textures or inventory. It seems really high-tech. I'm assuming it's something to do with the tech tier that was all released or so. But I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I'm really not certain if I like that or not. This is definitely a lot bigger than my last house, that's for sure. A lot bigger. What do we need here? More thatch. Uh, probably got a fair bit of wood there. So let's see here. Just clear these guys out. Almost got ourselves another level already. Just building all of the ones that I can. Doesn't really matter so much. They're all going to get used at some point. Must finish tree. Do not care if encumbered. Must finish tree. <laughs> Can't move at all. How about now? Yay! Perfect timing! Because I can't move, because I'm way too heavy. One more weight. Another 18 points to spend. We're going to have a look at those in just a little bit. If I can... Oh! Completely stuck. <laughs> drop some stones. 81 and 88 wood, that's why. Let's drop that. There we go. Can we climb up here? We can. Fantastic. Oh, night be falling. Night be falling already for us. With any luck, we'll be able to get this house finished and a campfire set up to get us started. I'm going to make everything at least too high for the start off, I believe. Yeah, that'll do just fine. And I will beautificate this little box another time. Thinking of boxes, that would actually be a fantastic thing for us to learn. So, this button? Yeah, okay, I'm seeing it. Yeah, the menu tabs at the top of the screen there tell us how and where to get to these things. We're going to want that. We're definitely going to want that slingshot as well. Uh, leave a six. We'll hold on to those for a little while. Excellent stuff. Absolutely loving it. So, let's see here. We're going to need wood, storage, wooden box. Just going to need more thatch. Actually have enough wood. Oh, it's night time already. I was really hoping that I was going to be able to get ourselves finalized before the first night fell. What a shame. What a shame. Well, in which case then, with the night time here, 
I believe that's going to be all the time we have, people. Thank you guys ever so much for coming to join me. I absolutely enjoy your company every single time. It's always a pleasure. I hope you're really excited for the return of Ark. I'm absolutely loving playing on Ark again. This has been far too long that I've been doing this. And I always, always have a super fun time in this game. It's a great laugh. It's a real challenge most times. And yeah, but mostly I love the building and I absolutely love the building in Ark. Can I get in the door, please? Thank you. It's a little bit tricky sometimes, I'm not going to lie. But it's always very rewarding. Oh, we're starving. Okay, well, we'll best take care of that then by chomping all the berries. Nom, 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 nom. Thankfully, we've been saving up and collecting these. Here's me in the middle of my outro trying to say goodbye to everybody. And as it turns out, I'm going to continue building stuff as it is. Why wouldn't I? Let's cut that down, put that down. And we will call it a night. Looks like a good spot for a campfire, don't you think? I I think so. I think it's a great spot for a campfire. Let's go in here. Let's get the fire lit. Get it warm in here. Oh, okay. The start button no longer does that. Let's have a look here. So, X still access is an inventory. Normally, when you're in the inventory, you can hit the start button. And it would light the fire. But, of course, we can't do that. Because the start button now does something else. There is a light fire button here, though. Okay, cool. Yes. Coolio's good enough. And let's put ourselves a box down. And then we won't be so cucumbered anymore. Amazing, excellent stuff. Well, yep, that'll definitely be it for all of us, guys. Thanks ever so much for coming to join back again. I'm really, really super pleased to be back playing on some arc. If you're looking forward to it and you've enjoyed this so far, hit that like. And if you're excited for the other episodes, hit that subscribe so you won't get missing out put the rest of them up. There will be more. That is guaranteed. There will definitely be more. Tell me what you think of the single player challenge. If you think it can actually be done. And if you're looking forward to watching me try, I'll probably die a lot of times, but hey, that's the plan. You've got to be able to do it. Tenacity is key. We shall succeed. Thanks ever again. Thanks ever again. Thanks ever so much for coming to join me again, guys. Take care now. All the best. And I shall see you all again soon.